Hey, Rio Grande Valley forecaster Brett Crandall here in the 24-7 Weather Center. A hot but gorgeous weekend across the Rio Grande Valley. Tonight, really not going to see much of a cool down. Temperatures expected to fall into the mid, maybe the low 70s overnight. Partly cloudy skies, so not expecting any wet weather this evening. But we may see a stray isolated shower come Monday. Highs expected to reach to the mid-90s in the Brownsville area, 94 for the forecasted high, 93 in Los Fresnos for much of the day, expecting mostly sunny skies. But again, we could see an isolated shower move through uh, with the, those sea breeze conditions just right. 96 degrees, the forecasted high for Harlingen, up to 98 in McAllen. It's going to be a hot one for the upper valley. And to Stark County, those upper 90s could even push 100 degrees in some areas. Future cast showing those conditions for sea breeze could be just right to spark off a shower throughout the day on Monday morning through the early afternoon hours. And then again on Tuesday, expecting the chance for showers across the Rio Grande Valley and across South Texas for that matter. But again, nothing really widespread and we only got about a 20% chance. Today is June 1st. That is the first day of the hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin. And we're already beginning to see some low pressure, begin an area of low pressure to form in the Bay of Campeche. That is bringing some cloud cover and even some rain showers across the central Gulf of Mexico. What does that mean for us? Well, if those showers continue to develop and push eastward as they're doing right now, that means we're going to stay warm and dry for this week. And that's exactly what we're looking at in that seven-day forecast. Hot and dry. A lot of sunshine there for you. Just those sea breeze showers Monday and Tuesday, but as the week progresses, expecting those warm temperatures to stick around and clear conditions for much of that seven-day outlook. As for the lower valley, just a few degrees cooler in the low 90s for those afternoon highs, but plenty of sunshine. You're going to want to make it to the pool, maybe the beach this week.